Oh yeah, what up party people, what up party people It's your boy Neek once again, me in the movies Doing it here, change of pace for today At the Edwards Ontario Palace Stadium 22 IMAX, BAM, theaters to check out one of those IMAX flicks they got up in there, yeah. Oh yeah, y'all. And that flick we kind of see, we come to see First Man. First Man on the Moon, I believe it's Neil Armstrong, if I'm not mistaken. Uh-oh, hopefully we don't get wrong about that. We should know history. Anyways, got my man. Um, uh, Damien Chazelle directing this film with Ryan Gosling um, as the first man who stepped foot on the moon in IMAX as the uh, third act was filmed in, uh, with IMAX cameras. So without further delu, I just wanted to say that for fun. Without further delay, let's go check out First Man. Damien Chazelle, the director of La La Land and Whiplash. I love both of those films, especially with Whiplash. La La Land and too. But uh, this is the first movie he didn't write, but he just directed it. So let's go check it out right now, First Man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, First Man and IMAX. Let's go check it out right now without further delay. Treats on deck, movie on select. Oh, yeah. Sometimes the IMAX films, they start right away. So hopefully we didn't miss anything. Looks like some action going on. Hopefully it's just trailers. Here we go. Kind of crazy. Um, take my little hat off <laughs> and my spectacles as we uh, dip up out this IMAX theater. I gotta give First Man uh, one of these. And I gotta give it that because it was, uh, it was entertaining in spades. I honestly feel that First Man should have been called First Family, as in Fantastic Four, right? No, it should have been called First Family because it was really about how, you know, the race to the moon affected the first family. And the man himself, and he, you know, Neil Armstrong, of course, being the first man on the moon, take the steps to take a step on the moon, um, it was all about how to affect really affected his family and what his family also went through um, and then reaching that point with all the mishaps that NASA had and all the tests and people passing away and dying I gotta give it one of these though it was I right. it was cool it was cool it wasn't great um, could you make this movie great I don't know yeah so it, it you know, Ryan Gosling did a good job being stoic as I don't know I don't know what. I mean, he's Mr. Stoic, man, I swear. He's Mr. Stoic in Hollywood. Um, and I like this little moment where his son, when they were saying uh, goodbye for possibly the last time, the night before he went out in, uh, for the moon mission, his, son, one, his youngest son gave him a hug, but then his eldest son, who kind of understood what was being said more so, he gave him a handshake firm handshake instead of a hug as his son to his father. I thought that was really nice. Uh, Claire Foy did a great job being kind of a little erratic herself, but also being extremely supportive of her husband. Um, 
I just hate the one line where she said, you guys are just boys. And I mean, like, like okay, whatever. Um, a couple characters dying, a character, a couple people dying, that was really shocking and maybe like that, which added to the story. So, first man was cool, just wasn't all the way thrilling. Um, was it supposed to be entertaining? I don't know. It was more so about, you know, putting yourself in the shoes of society during this time, during the space race and everything like that. It's a good movie, almost like a documentary to... Uh, to take in some information, but as far as a movie to be thrilling and everything like that, you don't necessarily got to go to the theater, but then again, some of the sequences of being on the moon and some of the uh, you know, blasting off of the space shuttle was cool, but uh, you're better off seeing this at home and everything like that. You don't need to rush. It's not thrilling enough to, to make you want to rush to the theater to see it, so I'll give it one of these joints. So, uh, yeah, that's your boy Nick here, me in the movies, and we just saw First Man directed by Damien Chazelle and starring Ryan Gosling and Claire Foy. Oh yeah. First man. They put a man on the moon. A man on the moon. Uh, yeah, and it definitely wasn't worth the $20 ticket, which I could have saw for free at AMC. So, mm -hmm.